what is an idea to start a business on. Mm -hmm. For me, when it comes to business development, it really comes back down to what are my chances of winning as opposed to yours. And what I mean by that is whenever I look at an opportunity, I need to look at whether I have all the, I would say the key components and whether I have the resource to make sure that these key components are all taken care of. And to give you a little bit of an example, with 720 Suites, what is one of the major uh, hurdle or major advantage, advantage that we would have when you're developing a uh, dessert chain or a dessert ch shop? The number one thing is your supplier because at the end of the day, it comes back down to the quality of your products. So for me, because I knew the owners of this, the biggest bubble tea suppliers in Western Canada, and he is a farmer in Taiwan. So for us, it became a very good stra strategic partner for us to partner up together. Um, when I have the marketing skill set and I understand exactly what's going on in the marketplace, and he has the resources to support me when it comes to research and development and it, when it comes to supplies. A lot of people, that's one of the biggest costs when it comes to developing a product, uh, especially in the food and beverage industry, is your supplies. So if you can really control that, that's a really big plus. So for me, finding him as a, as a resource and a partner is super, super important when I was deciding whether I want to enter this business or not. If he wasn't on board, I most likely wouldn't be choosing this business to be in. Right? A second component and a second resource is that for any business, because I'm handling multiple different projects at the same time, every single business that I'm handling with, there must be a spearhead. And what I mean by spearhead is someone that is fully dedicated 120% into that project because you're not. And that person, that spearhead needs to be super, super, dedicated and committed right from the get-go and all the way to the end and luckily I was able to find Brian um, who became my partner and um, he's been amazing and, he, and he's been super dedicated throughout this whole term which really helped support the operation of the business and I feel like because of the fact that I have these two components and also with my experience with sourcing in China I was able to go ahead with this business because I was resourceful when it comes to this business. I feel like that if I were to open this shop versus you were to open the shop, I would have much more advantage in doing so. Uh, my percentages of winning would be at least 60 to 70 percent in comparison to everyone else in the market. That's when I decide to enter into a business. So when you said Resources, right? Mm -hmm. Being resourceful. How does someone develop that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, at the end of the day, when it comes to being resourceful, um, a lot of times when a budding entrepreneur, they, they they try to be, they try to do something, they try to start a new business, whether it be online, offline, doesn't matter, e-commerce. They handicap themselves by thinking that it's all them that they are the ones that are in charge of developing the whole business that they're not going to reach out for help so this is what i i, I teach all my my mentees and and, and and clients is to look at your circle of influence and look at basically and just jot down what exactly they do whether it be your relatives whether it be your uncle uncle's dad or your dad's friend that does like um that does uh, cup designs or um, manufacturing or packaging designs um, and you'd be looking at basically all your friends what do they do what kind of resources they have and when you're able to really fully aud audit your whole resource and your whole connection and you would start to fill in the different gaps and fill in hey you know what Jason Jason's the guy that knows all the foodies and bloggers so if I were to do anything to do with food I would talk to Jason uh, my other friend that does packaging if I am to create a product to to sell on um, online on Amazon uh, packaging is one thing that I'm super super um, anal about then I would talk to my friend that's in packaging because now my MOQ instead of a $10,000 10,000 
piece um, packaging order, it would drop down to 5,000 or 500 for that matter because I know him. And that would give me more, more lead room uh, to play with when it comes to my resources. And that's a resource that not every single person has. And when you can start being creative and resourceful around the people that's around you, that's gonna increase your level of success. The chances of you succeeding in the business is when you become resourceful to the people around you, right? Um, and that's exactly how I determine whether a business is a go or no go, is to look at whether I have all the key components um, to make this business successful or not. Mm -hmm. Right, I think a lot of times, I hear a lot of this, like a lot of people that come and ask me when they're first starting out. It's like, hey, you know what, I don't know anyone. Um, I don't have any network. Um, that's hindering my success and I can't start this business or I can't do e-commerce because I don't know anyone in, in the game. That is very, that is only an excuse. Quite frankly, I didn't start off with any network in Vancouver and it takes years to develop these relationships that you can count on. But that doesn't hinder the, your level of success just because you don't have the connection to do so. There are a lot of meetup groups out there. There are a lot of, and nowadays especially, with, with meetup.com, with all your business networks within your own city, these are a lot of different good places where you get to meet new people in your industry. Um, that's one place to network. And another thing is that when I say it's an excuse is because if you don't know something, you're gonna find that, oh, you know what, I don't know any resources around me. I don't think I can count on anyone because you never really have that perspective of seeing your friends, per se, or your family members as a resource or as a, uh, in, uh, as a resource to give you either insights or introduction to people they know, right? So if you put out the intention of of seeing these people as a potential resource, then you would see it from a different perspective and that would open up your eyes and they, they then become your resource. It's a matter of the perspective, I think. The fear of rejection from your friend as a resource is, I think like, just to clarify a little bit more, when it comes to seeing your friend as a resource, I'm not telling you to partner with them or you know rub anything off them or, or any of that sort. It is seeing them as a resource or potentially putting it out there as, hey, can you make an introduction to someone you know who does this? And when you put that intention out there, automatically they would have someone in mind. So for example, if someone asks you, hey, I want to start an ice cream shop, who would you go to it automatically? You'd be like, oh, Wilson, I know Wilson, he started an ice cream shop. Or hey, you know what, Amazon. Oh yeah, I know this guy, he does Amazon. Or hey, well, a business development. Oh yeah, I know that guy, Wilson does business development. These are things that come to top of mind when you have those conversations. And when you put the intention out there of trying to look for a certain type of people. Or hey, you know what, I'm thinking about creating baby products. Then I talk to my friend who's a, who's a parent. Perhaps they would know someone that's in the industry of baby products. I don't know, right? Manufacturing, let's say in China or let's say in the, in the States, doesn't really matter. It is putting the intention out there and seeing it from a different perspective, not seeing them as someone that you poach or someone that you take advantage of because that's like taboo, right? That's like, oh, I don't want my friend to see me in a different light. Like, oh, like I don't want to mix friendship with business. It's not mixing friendship with business. It is putting the intention out there and people love and would want to help you if you just put out the intention out there.